needs um, happy active sperm to penetrate it to go in to activate a child you know fertilization so the egg in a woman um, needs the energy of a lot a million sperm pounding on it before it becomes available and fertile for it to come in sperm is so lovely men are so lovely the male sperm in there that it will donate its energy to allow one guy to go in so think of an army of men wanting to get that egg fertilized so it's a great visual it's a great visual the sperm that created your body so wanted you to be here um it really generated this um profound energy got energy from all the other sperm that was around it it took a village to make and um, open up the egg release all the barriers to that egg to allow for a baby to be fully fertilized and turn into the being that you are right here and women's eggs do the same thing we have four that every month come to being um, available about four that will start um, and they'll decide among themselves which of the four is going to travel the course from the ovary which is going to mature the other three will turn into and give all of their nutrients and all of their sustenance to that one one survives three um you know uh dry up the egg begins to travel from the ovary into the uterus um, the fingers of the uterus are like this, the f um, and this part is called the fallopian tubes. It will catch the egg. If there's sperm available, sperm will come up and travel and meet it in the fallopian tubes. They'll road trip together, an ideal plan and implant in the back of the uterus where it starts growing the placenta. So you were already on a trip with your masculine and feminine self when you started this journey of life. It took both halves and for truly strong, powerful men, they have to be connected to their masculine side. For truly um, amazing women to come through, they have to be in this space both of simply being able to receive and donate to the women around them or to the feminine energy that's around them.